เลยอ่ะนะเยาวๆโอเคนะ So if you have your water, it, it will be ionized into. But this one is uh, first is uh, it's the same with if you have water, this is liquid. It will ionize into hydrogen ion and OH ion. It's also the same with if it will take note that this one hydrogen ion is same with the hydronium ion. Then, if water will ionize into hydronium ion and OH ion, still this is uh, liquid. So you can balance the equation. We have four. So you have two moles of liquid water will ionize into one mole of hydronium ion and OH ion. Now, if you're going to write the The equilibrium constant expression for this equation that would be equal to K is equal to the product of the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactant. So it could be written as the concentration of the hydrogen and in the hydronium ion raised to the power of the coefficient since it is only one. So uh, That will be raised to the power of one. Then times the concentration of the hydrogen ion raised to the power of one over the concentration of water. Take note, this is liquid raised to the power of two. Now, water here is in the pure state, so it would not be actually included in the expression. Or we can have it cross multiplied. So that will be the equilibrium constant K times the concentration of the water in the liquid state is equal to the concentration of the hydronium ion times the concentration of the hydroxyl ion. Now this one is one of the equilibrium constant and that is for the water. That is the ionization constant of the water, Kw. So Kw will be just equal to the concentration of the hydronium ion times the concentration of the hydroxyl ion. And the ionization constant of water is, of course, constant, and that is reflected in Table 9-3. You can check it in your in your book. So this problem nine one shows the shows the concentration or the ionization constant of the water. So if it involves water, you can actually or immediately write this equation. So we have here we are going to calculate the hydronium ion and hydroxide ion concentration. So we are going to have the equation first. So same with this one. So I just uh, rewrite the equation. So you will have uh, water, which is in the liquid form, will be ionized into hydrogen ion and OH ion. Of course, you have to balance the equation. So this will be two moles of liquid water, one mole of hydronium, hydronium ion, and one mole of Hydroxyl ion. Now you are going to determine the concentration of the hydronium ion H3O and the hydroxide ion. So this is the known concentration of this one and concentration of this one. You are given the ionization constant of the water. It's constant. You can find it in Table 9.3. So at 25 degrees Celsius, so the Ionization constant of water is 1.01 times 10 to the negative 14, and at 100 degrees Celsius, it is 49 times 10 to negative 14. So, since this is unknown, 
this is a known. Okay, so we can let this one as concentration of the hydronium ion as X and concentration of the hydroxyl ion as X also. Why we have the same symbol? I wrote the same symbol. Because if you are trying to look at the equation, the ratio between the hydronium ion and the hydroxyl ion is 1 is to 1. So meaning, the concentration of hydronium ion, whatever is the concentration of the hydronium ion, that is also equal to the concentration of the hydroxyl ion. So if you are going to look at a right, take note class, if you are going to represent the product or reactant in their concentration, it should be enclosed in a bracket, so meaning that is concentration. And the unit is molarity. So the concentration of hydronium ion is just equal to the concentration of the hydroxyl ion. And that is equal to X. Okay. So from here, we will have now the equation or the equilibrium concentration equilibrium concentration expression so this is water so we will have kw so i will be transferring in this sign so in any i erase this one so kw then for the water that would be equal to what right so write the expression equilibrium expression so you will have kw for water so we have first letter a or the first one this is at 25 degree celsius so the concentration or the ionization constant of the water will be equal to from the equation uh, product over reactant so that will be concentration of the hydronium ion times the concentration of the hydroxyl ion now since this one is constant at 25 degrees celsius that is 1.01 .01 times 10 to the negative 40 and this one is unknown unknown and we leave that one as x so this will be x times x or that is x squared equal to 1.01 .01 times 10 to the negative 14 solving for x so you will have square root of 1.01 .01 times 10 to the negative 14 so using your of course your calculator x would be equal to that would be 1 times 10 to negative 7 so 1.01 .01 square root of 1.01 .01 raised to the power of negative 14, of course, that will be equal to approximately 1.001 or 1.00 times 10 to the negative 7. So we let X as the concentration of hydro hydronium ion and OH ion. So of course, the unit will be in molarity. So therefore, the concentration of hydronium ion is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7 molarity as well as the concentration of the hydronium ion is also 1 times 10 to the negative 7 molar okay so that's the answer now just in case just in case you will be asked to determine the pH of the water at 25 degrees Celsius. Now, since you have the concentration of the concentration of the hydronium ion, you can always you can always uh, okay. If pH is asked, so you can always use this one. Take note that it would be the same as pH would be equal to the negative log of the hydronium ion or you can write it as pH would be equal to the negative log of the hydrogen ion okay 
So we have already the concentration of the, the hydronium ion, so you will be able to determine the pH of the hydronium ion. So that would be negative log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7, which is equal to 7. So the pH of the water at 25 degree Celsius is 7. Now if you're trying to use also the pH of OH, same. So, but you will use the OH. So, if you are going to use the OH, you will be solving. You will be solving the POH. So, POH since that is OH, that would be equal to the negative log of the concentration of the hydroxyl ion. Same. So, you have negative log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7. So therefore, the pOH would be equal to 7. Now, if you are going to, since pH is being asked, pH of hydronium ion, so that would be same. So pH, you know that pH plus pOH is equal to 14, or 14 minus pOH. So that will be 14 minus 7. So therefore, the pH is 7. Okay? So, that's it. So, if you are going to solve for the concentration of the hydrogen ion at 100 degrees Celsius, it would be the process is the same. So, they will differ only on the constant. Okay? They will differ only on the constant. Okay, we'll solve it. So, I will be just uh, removing or cleaning this one. So, same process, only they differ on the, and we will try to compute the pH again. If the pH of the water at 100 degrees Celsius is also 7. Okay? So, at 100, so this will be now at 100 degrees Celsius. So at 100 degrees Celsius, so again, uh, the ionization constant expression for the dissociation of water is this one. So if the ionization constant of the water at 100 degrees Celsius is 49 times 10 to the negative 14. The so same, so you will have here x squared will be equal to 49 times 10 to the negative 14 or x is equal to the square root of 49 times 10 to the negative 14. So therefore, x will be equal to 7 times 10 to negative 7. So check. That is, of course, that is 7. So square root of 49 raised to the power of negative 14. So that is 7 times 10 to the negative 7. So we let this one as concentration, so the unit will be polarity. So therefore, the concentration of the hydronium ion, which is also equal, which is equal to x, so that is 7 times 10 to the negative 7 molar. And the concentration of the OH ion is equal to 7 times 10 to negative 7 molarity. And that's it. So if you are going to get the pH, pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of the hydronium ion, which is 7 times 10 to the negative 7 at 100 degree Celsius. So that will be equal to negative log of 7 exponent negative 7. And the pH is 6.15. So it's already acidic. It's a slightly acidic. Okay, so I'll try to solve this. Okay, so if, for example, if pH is asked again at 100 degrees Celsius, so same pH would be equal to the negative log of the hydronium ion which is equal to negative log of 7 times 10 to the negative 7 and the pH is 
6.155 or 6.155 or approximately 6.2. That is the pH. So it is already slightly acidic at 100 degrees Celsius. So that's problem number one with the uh, side uh, side question the pH but what is really asked in the problem is the concentration of the hydronium ion and the concentration of the hydroxide ion okay that is problem 9